Black Magic, why? <laughs> why are you making our life more difficult? Okay, I was thinking about making this video for like a couple of weeks. I just noticed something and maybe I'm doing something wrong. That's why I make this video because if you know that this is a different way, please let me know in the comment. When I make updates with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, so the latest update was uh, version 2.2.3, uh, 2 right? I made uh, 20.2.3, I made a video about this one. On the iPad, it's very simple. You just download the remaining patch. So it maybe is a 200 MB download. I can do this on the go from my phone internet and then I have the newest version. But what I noticed when I opened DaVinci Resolve on my desktop, at least here on my Mac, every time there is a new update, then I have to download the entire software again, six to seven gigabytes. And I'm always on the go. So that, I, that means I have to find a, a co-working or a good internet to actually download an update. Why in the world? Because I mean, since like 20, 30 years, we have patches. Like every game, every software that I used in the past, I never had to download the entire software again if there was a new version. Why on earth do I have to download the entire software again if I have a new version? From 20.2.2 to 20.2.3, there's maybe a couple of fixes and I have to download the entire software. Again, maybe I'm doing something wrong, so please let me know in the comments, how do you update your DaVinci Resolve for desktop? And why DaVinci or Blackmagic, why do you do that? Clearly, you can you manage to make it how it should be on the iPad. You can just simply download the patch, which is 200, 300, depends on the update, of course, but you don't have to always download the entire software four gigabytes. Uh, yeah, that's my rant for this video today. And Blackmagic, you are an amazing company. You make an amazing software. I just wonder why. Why is there not a simple patch process if I already installed DaVinci Resolve on my desktop that I simply can update it and maybe I do something wrong. So I just I just went to check and then it says download and it redirects me to a page where it downloads the full software and it reinstalls the full software. Maybe there is no other way around it, but <laughs> why? Why? Do you feel the same like me or am, am I the only one who has a problem with this? <laughs> That's the video for today. I hope this was interesting <laughs> and you have. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. I'm Daniel. See you in the next video. Bye.